I'd be meaning to test how quick a wetsuit is compared to a swim skin and then just swimsuit. So this morning, we've got our own little private lake. We've got our new wetsuits, 3.8 wetsuits. They're brand new. We've only swam in them a few times. Uh, we've not swam, well, I swam in my swim skin a couple of times. Caroline's not even put hers on. Um, we've been swimming here about four or five times, so we know this loop really well. So the loop that we do is going to be as close as possible. So we'll try and keep the times, and distances as accurate as possible. But I'm really inclined to, well, I'm really interested to find out what the difference is. So we're going to do wetsuit first, then swim skin and then just swimsuit and uh, and also I'll be interested to see how your times compare to mine and how comparable they are yeah. and if there's like a correlation or not yeah um, yeah okay let's see let's see what happens Swim skins are notoriously difficult to get on. You've got to be patient because you can rip them. They're meant to be tight to the point where you think, I'm not going to get this on. Uh, so this one is a sleeveless one. It's the fastest model, this one, isn't it? Okay. They do an RS1 and sleeve down sleeveless. Oh, okay. This is the new sleeveless one, yeah. Okay, so this is the new sleeveless one. I, I, I admit, I do like the sleeve one. Uh, but as you can see, it's tight. So the loop we're going to do is around a little island. It's about five, we reckon it's about 500 meters with the GPS. It changes slightly, but it's about 500 meters, about 6.45, 6.30 minutes left for swimming. So Caroline and I, we're going to do wetsuits first. We're going to do a K warm up. Then we're going to hit a really hot wetsuit swim, then a swim skin, and then trunks and swimsuit. Let's see how we get on. Okay, that's the warm up done, okay? <laughs> I did 6.40, 6.40 as the warm up with two laps, so about 10 seconds rest. Caroline did around about seven. about seven minutes. So this yeah. is the first hot lap in the wetsuit. I'm probably going to give Caroline about 25 metres head start. No. So we're not... No, you're going first. Okay. <laughs> Close the split. I don't know. I'll be able to get it off the data. I got a text as I came in. So I looked in the split and the text popped up. <coughs> so I don't know what I found there. I'll have to look at my watch afterwards. That's a bit pointless. Okay. Swim skin time. Look at that. That's 649. Well, I'll have to check. I think it's about right. <coughs> Seven oh five. Okay. Okay. Just on this swim seat one. I did a seven thirty-seven. <laughs> so almost thirty seconds slower than with the swim skin on. And uh wetsuit was significantly quicker than swim skin, so kind of, you know, what we expected, but it's really interesting to see how much difference there is really between the three. <laughs> it's 
760. What do you get? Mine was a lot slower. What was it? 737. Yeah. So, 649, 716. I don't know what the first wetsuit was. I'll have to get it off the watch. But yeah, I deviated a little bit there at the end. You see through the sun. But wow, I didn't think it'd be that much. Yeah. I really was, didn't. I was really surprised too. I mean, Mine was like a full on knee 30 seconds slower. Without the swim skin? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh wow. That is a lot. And That's... I know that my steady wetsuit lap was 10 seconds quicker. So my hard wetsuit lap would have been at least 15, if not yeah. more. We'll figure out. We'll, so, yeah. we'll put all the numbers up. Interesting. Yeah. Cool.